You might be wondering what War Tycoon actually wants to be adding to the game in the near future. And in today's video, I have picked out the exact updates which are most probable to be coming into War Tycoon in the next one month to two months of time, considering all of the things that are going on in the game right now, such as, of course, the new plane updates, the new ships being added, and of course, the new loadout locker being completely redesigned into the best way they could have ever done it. Anyway, if you guys would like to see more top 5 videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe. Well, jumping into the number one thing that they will be adding in the next future updates. Currently, we have the new uh, Stuka Diver, which is going to be added to War Tycoon in the next few days. And you might be wondering, what else do they want to add? Of course, they want to add more different planes in the game. And you might be wondering how I know this. Well, first up, I'm reading from the official Discord server on the many ideas that they have. However, I am picking up the best option. The reason why I say the new planes will probably be added very soon in the game. And you might be wondering why I say this is because one of the developers have pre has previously leaked that they will be working on a lot more planes coming into the game and they have so many planes in mind and I believe this is done because they are trying to rebalance out uh, the amount of vehicles that are in the game because let's say there's a lot of there's around the nine tanks I believe in the game and maybe the developers are trying to kind of round up the numbers with ships and planes and all that stuff anyway jump to the next one well the developers have previously said they will want to be adding uh, vehicles that are amphibious which which is actually very exciting, which I have made a video on recently about the Abrams X possibly being amphibious. And here's a screenshot on the screen right now of the announcement that Kismotech has also made. They will be adding a lot more vehicles which will be amphibious. And I am definitely looking forward to this. And I believe this is going to be not coming just in the near future, but actually very soon. Like, it, it might be coming even into the next update after the update with the Stuka Diver. It is really probable. Anyway, jump to the next one. The next thing that we probably will also have is coming into a two new ships that will be coming in the next future updates as well. And again, the reason why I say this is because the developers are kind of probably trying to level out the amount of vehicles there is for each category. But another ship, another two ships, I truly do wonder what the ships can be. But my prediction will be definitely not the aircraft carrier because they have said previously they will not be adding it. But they might be adding an anti-air uh, ship. And that will actually be very interesting since now the F-45 is dominating in disguise. Well, we'll find out in the future. Well, the next thing I think they will be adding is probably going to be daily rewards for the players. And the reason why I say this is because they are recently improving the, a lot of things that are overall for the new players. Like, they have redesigned the loadouts, they have added a lot more new weapons, they have rebalanced a lot of weapons. So now giving the players more daily rewards rather than just a free daily spin will definitely be great. And I will be making my own concept video for this, actually, on a very good concept of the developers being able to give away game passes in a kind of a daily reward way and I'll be explaining you guys more detail in another video so make sure to stay subscribed for that video as well anyway the next one and now the last and final one is going to be the friend boost and you might be wondering what the friend boost actually means well let me explain I believe that people who are in the same faction as you will be able to be able to help you in some shape or form. And you might be wondering how this could be. Maybe they would have a daily limit of enough cash that they could give you or something like this. Not to ruin the economy, that's why there would be a limit. Maybe they could give you some medals or maybe there would be some kind of another reward system in the, of course, factions, which the factions have been buffed a lot more recently. They are actually given way more and more rewards every single update that comes out of the game. So I'm really interesting where the front boosts are actually going to take us or maybe since you have someone added they would be able to gift you um, a game pass maybe for cheaper I really do not know what the developers have planned but they are really doing a great job in keeping the players occupied for a long time on their game Anyway, that's all the five things that I had uh, to show you guys that are probably going to be coming out in the future updates of War Tycoon. And the reason why I picked out all of these five is because they will be best fitting for War Tycoon's marketing scheme. And I really cannot explain you guys the marketing scheme of them. But if you think about it logically, the things that they have been recently added really do relate with the things I have spoke about in today's video. So have a think about this. If you'd like to uh, tell me in the comment section down below what you think this marketing scheme actually is in detail. I would happily hear you guys' opinion, what you guys actually think and how you put this together. Anyway guys, if you'd like to see more top 5 videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Have a great rest of your amazing day and peace out everybody. Bye bye.